Hello everybody, welcome to Dreadnought. This game is currently in closed beta and it's freaking awesome. Really reminds me of Fractured Space, but with a little bit of faster gameplay in terms of the ship movement as well as the actual areas of combat. It is a beautiful looking game, runs pretty great on my system. I'm really liking it. So this is my current ship right now. I have an Invictus Dreadnought class, uh, really slow, but has ton of armor and ton of weapons. And then these trader ships are ones you can just borrow from people. So I did actually purchase this one with in-game currency that I earned over time. Well, you just kind of start off with it, really. I didn't pay any money. <laughs> hopefully this game won't turn out to be a pay-to-win sort of thing, because there is microtransactions and all that stuff, but hopefully they'll balance it out, even if it's not currently like that, because it's currently closed beta. So this is the kind of starting screen. Normally you'd be here, oops, with your other teammates. But since this is a training mission, it's just going to be me against the NPCs. So I'm going to hit space to go ahead and ready up, and we're going to warp into the battlefield, which takes place in the... Oh, that's perfect timing. <laughs> in the rings of Saturn. It just said servers will go down for maintenance in 20 minutes. Well, hopefully I can record this episode. So here we are, 5v5, ship-to-ship -ship combat, and these freaking gorgeous close-range environments. Well, relatively close range. Let's see, you can see my teammates there, there... There, so that guy is another big old dreadnought, which are the slowest, but most heavily armored and weaponized ships in the game. I believe that guy is a support ship, so he can heal teammates. And I can't really see the other ones. I'm assuming that little one's a corvette, but we got some enemies in range. We're gonna open up on them. Okay, oh, we got some teammates over there. We're gonna go help them out. It does take us forever to get anywhere, though. Oh, we have another guy down there. Uh, okay, let's go after this guy. So Julian Bissett. Uh, currently fire is just our main weapon right now. The ship also does have on the top, you can see the different number items. So we're going to come along side and because this ship does have a lot of broadside weapons. So we're going to try and open up our broadside cannons. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh, so satisfying. Took her down. Okay, I'm looking on my radar. Oh, there's a little itty bitty Corvette running around down there. So there are these fast ships. Really low armor though, so this guy's gonna get chewed up by me and that other dreadnought right there. Really not a great idea to go out up against two dreadnoughts when you're just in a little baby corvette. Ah, alright, there's another ship over here. Uh, let's check this out. So we can hit four, and we'll do a little warp jump. Oh wait, that's a corvette. I thought it was further away and it was a small ship, or it was a big ship, but it was closer and it was a little ship. Dang it. Well, that was kind of a waste. Oh, and now we're within range. Oh, jeez. Okay, so they've got a sniper ship way over to the left there. Uh, we're going to try and use our broadside weapons here. Come on! Okay, doing some damage, but uh, we do have some teammates coming up. Oh, and they jumped out, those little stinkers. I uh, see that guy way back there. He's just sniping us, little turd, but Little turd. Oh, there he is. Okay, we're going to launch some missiles, and we're going to use our plasma broadsides once again. Uh, we're going to die here. But at least it's okay if we die. We'll be able to show you guys some of the other ships. And kablammo. Alright, so we're going to pick a new ship. Uh, we're going to go with the Trader Ships. So this is the class we're using last time, the Dreadnought. The different classes are Destroyer, Dreadnought, Corvette, Artillery Cruiser, and Tactical Cruiser. This is an all-around ship, kind of evenly balanced. This is heavy armor, a lot of weapons, but slow. This is an itty-bitty ship, but super fast and agile. This is Artillery Cruiser, which was that sniper ship we were talking about earlier. And the Tactical Cruiser is a support ship. Oh, it just spawned us in. Okay, well, it didn't let me pick a new one. Uh, can we kill ourselves? No. Alright, well, we'll just try and go out in a blaze of glory and then pick out a new ship. Okay, I'm thinking there's some people over here because I'm seeing some fire being exchanged, so we're going to warp. Try and lower down a little bit just so we can get closer. Oh, he warped away too. Fine. Be that way. Where the heck are they? There they are. Alright, and there are some audio cues you have to pay attention to. Like, it, well, they will tell me when my weapons are locked onto things. I, I wish... I... It does tell me. Okay. Launching. Okay, so it does tell me, the, the little thing lit up right when it said that the plasma broad says locked down. I did not notice that, I apologize. Uh, we're gonna use our heavy auto cannons too. Oh, I think we're actually out of range because they're not firing right now. Uh, let's go. We're gonna warp in over here. Just to try and get a little bit closer to these guys so we can use our broadsides. Oh, went a little, <laughs> overshot it a little bit. Oopsie daisy. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go after this guy. Broadsides and our flesh missiles. Oh, baby. Watch these things. They come out flying out of the top and they kind of curve around. So you gotta make sure you're not currently under anything, because then they'll kind of smash into other things. 
I'm too busy looking at all the pretty sights. Gotta, gotta actually focus on shooting people. Roadside batteries. Ooh, this thing just tear it apart. This thing is taking a lot of our heat uh, just because it is a destroyer class. Or not a destroyer class, it's a dreadnought class as well. This guy will be a lot more easy to take down because I believe... Yep. Oh, yeah, hit the broadsides. Yeah, that's just a support ship. Oh, no, that's a destroyer. There we go, so a lot less uh, armor. I think this guy, oh, he's being healed, that's why. So over there is a support ship currently healing. You can see that green beam. So we're going to try and take out the support craft first. Just got to take out those stupid shields. Okay, as they're getting closer, they're actually going to come within range of our broadsides. And that little bubble above him is also healing him. So let's hit him. Come on. You stinker. Oh, jeez. Right on top of us. Okay. Let's hit him. Oh, they're probably going to take us out. I really want to take out the support craft, though. All right, let's warp out of here. Try and back out. I don't know who to focus on. I'm really bad at choosing targets in a game like this. Oh. Well, we managed to warp out, but we kind of got blown up. So our debris apparently warped. All right, let's try out some of the other ships. I want to try... Um, let's do a Corvette. Little itty bitty fast ship. Should be able to zip in and out of battle. Oh yeah, look at this. Much more maneuverable. Look out for the rock. Okay, there you go. Okay, there's a... Is that a Dreadnought? Oh no, it's another Corvette. Okay. We're gonna take him out. Oh, and I completely miss. Come on, you. Come on, you. Captain kill? When did I get a captain kill? There we go. Got a little bit of an assist. Uh, we're gonna try and come over here and use our heavy torpedo on one of these guys. Aha, it's a sniper ship. No, he's sneaking away. Sneaking away. Okay, we're gonna try, try and lower ourselves. Oh, beautiful. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and cloak up. Just sneak right by these guys, because they're kind of big and menacing and scary. Servers will go down in five minutes. Oh no, hopefully we can finish this game before the servers go down. Uh, we're gonna turn, flip around, turn off our cloak. And hopefully our torpedo will be uh, recharged by then. All right, we're gonna open up and use our heavy torpedo. Reloading our other cannon. Oh no. Let's see if that does a decent amount of damage. Come on, hit it. Ooh. Ton of damage. Beautiful. And this thing also does have an anti-missile pulse, so if anyone decides to launch the missiles at us, we should be able to uh, mitigate some of that damage. This freaking heavy torpedo takes forever to reload. Beautiful. <laughs> There's something going on with the character model in the top left whenever they're talking to me. It looks a little bit weird. We still have taken no damage. Well, we are currently getting healed, so maybe we did take some. Where are they? Uh, there's a guy right over there. Uh, let's go ahead and cloak up. And we're going to try and sneak over to them. Actually, let's go after this guy, this sniper. They just sit back here and think they're so cool. Okay, ready, and... Heavy torpedo. And we're going to afterburn out of here. Whee! Oh, we got enemy warheads coming in. Okay, here they come. Oh, they hit the... <laughs> They'll hit the asteroid. What an idiot. Okay, where's that sniper? Oh, he healed already. Dang it. Right, let's go after this guy, I guess. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage to us. Look out for the rock. Look out for the rock. Oh, is that another Corvette right there? Oh, no, that's that guy. You there. You there. Okay, let's keep, let's keep up the fire on him, then we're going to use our missile when it respawns in one second. And heavy torpedo. Oh, you're mine, punk. Come on, yes! <laughs> oh, we got missiles coming in. Let's use anti-missile pulse to disable them. Beautiful. That thing respawns really quickly. That seems a little bit overpowered. You can just kind of destroy any missile headed towards you every 15 seconds. But I guess not every form of damage is in missiles. Oh, we're tearing this guy apart. Come here, you. Come here, you. You little stinker. George. Oh, he's getting healed. Oh, support craft. Oh, I'm going to go after him. Oops. Oops. What am I doing? What just happened? Did I accidentally hit boost? No? That was weird. Okay, let's flip around. Where is that support craft? There you are, you little turd. All right. Let's hit him. Nope. Stop, 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 stop. All right. Let's hit him with the torpedo. Turn, fool! And fire! Oh, he's dead. 
Yes. Great job. What I do like about this game is it actually shows damage on your hull. You can see we're kind of missing some chunks up there, and they're a little bit fiery, but... Even though we're full health, but I think that was because we did get healed by a support craft. Now uh, here is our next subject, George. I'm really liking this little craft. Just able to just kind of zip around and do a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there. And then hit him with the torpedo. Actually, we don't even need the torpedo on this guy. Oh. Hey, we won. Go team. Go team. Very cool. All right, how many kills we got? Nine kills and three deaths. Cool. So we were a top fragger. Suck it. KD ratio of 4.5. Something I will never probably see again outside of training missions. So here we are back in the hangar. Just waiting for the textures to load in. There they go. Oh, good, good job, textures. All right, so this is my ship. Uh, you can buy different ones at the market using actual money. I think that's the GP, the GIPA. Uh, but you can also use the FIPA, which is the stuff that's earned. So I was able to purchase one of these guys, this one right here, uh, different classes, different loadouts, and then once you actually have them, uh, let's see, if we go over to the hangar, we can actually change our loadouts. But yeah, you see all the different things that you can do, you can change the different loadouts, there's um, offensive units, defensive units, and sort of passive units. So weapons modules and officer briefings, like communications, navigation, engineering, all that stuff. We'll probably check out a game with actual human enemies in the next episode. Guys, the server's about to go offline, so I can't keep playing this. But leave a like if you enjoyed. Want to see more Dreadnought in the future? See ya!